An attack was carried out on the Belgorod region of Russia. Local media reported on this. Several residential buildings, social and commercial facilities were damaged in the city of Belgorod as a result of the strikes by the Ukrainian army with the Vampire rocket launcher system. One of the blows hit the parking lot, resulting in an explosion and fire, and a large number of cars were damaged. Also, two houses and several cars were damaged in Dubovoy settlement. The number of victims is not reported. The provincial administration says that the air defense system was activated and the missiles were fired. Ukrainian forces shelled Russia's southern Belgorod region on Sunday, killing one person and injuring more than a dozen, including two children who were seriously hurt, regional governor Vyacheslav Gladkov said. Gladkov, writing on the Telegram messaging app, said one person died in the village of Shagarovka near the Ukrainian border. Three people were injured in Shebekino, located on the border, and Gladkov reported attacks on at least one other village. Все вроде прилета, понял. Mongolia must detain Russian President Vladimir Putin because it is a member of the International Criminal Court, ICC, a spokesman for the Hague-based body has said. Putin is scheduled to visit Russia's neighbor on Monday to mark the 85th anniversary of a major World War II battle. This would theoretically put him at risk of arrest on the ICC's war crimes warrant as Ulaanbaatar recognizes the court's jurisdiction. Mongolia ratified the ICC's founding document in 2002. Six months ago, one of its judges was appointed to sit on the court in a historic first for the Central Asian nation. All states that signed the Rome Statute have the obligation to cooperate in accordance with Chapter 9, ICC spokesman Fadi El Abdallah told the BBC. The Rome Statute is an international treaty that set up the court, which Mongolia ratified in 2002. In case of non-cooperation, ICC judges may make a finding to the effect and inform the Assembly of States parties of it. It is then for the Assembly to take any measure it deems appropriate, El Abdallah said. The Rome Statute provides for exemptions when arresting someone would breach a treaty obligation with another country or violate the diplomatic immunity of a person or property of a third state. Ukraine has also filed an official demand with Mongolia to arrest Putin, according to the government in Kiev. Moscow has no concerns about the ICC warrant, Kremlin spokesman Dmitry Peskov told reporters earlier on Friday, noting that all possible issues concerning Putin's visit have been worked out separately in advance. The ICC issued a warrant for Putin's arrest in March 2023, accusing the Russian president of unlawful deportation of population and unlawful transfer of population from occupied areas of Ukraine to the Russian Federation. Moscow has rejected the claims as ridiculous, noting that the evacuation of civilians from combat zones was not a crime. Moreover, neither Russia nor Ukraine is party to the Rome Statute, meaning that the ICC has no jurisdiction in the matter. Putin is expected to extend a ceremony commemorating the 1939 Battle of Kalkin Gol. The decisive victory of the Red Army and its Mongolian allies over the Imperial Japanese Army secured the Soviet Union's eastern flank until 1945. 
Russian President Vladimir Putin is not concerned that Mongolia could arrest him on international criminal court charges during his upcoming trip, Kremlin spokesman Dmitry Peskov has said. We have excellent relations with our friends from Mongolia, Peskov told reporters. All issues concerning Putin's visit have been worked out separately, he added, noting that Moscow has no concerns about the ICC warrant.